Hello everyone, today I will continue with what I started in the last video with the intersection detailing but today I will show you the node controller mod and all those things that you can do with it to create nicer looking intersections, roundabouts, highway connections and many many different things as well. So we're going to jump right into it and I'm going to show you what exactly I did with this intersection. The node controller button is right next to the intersection marking tool. If you don't have the intersection marking tool then it's just going to be alone underneath the road default vanilla road tools right here. When I'm going to click it then I can now click the intersection node. Now I'm going to be greeted with this, uh, with this window that doesn't really have a lot of features does it? Now first, let's talk about the node junction markings. So it tells me that it removes diffuse texture for all segment ends. That basically means it's going to remove the markings that came with the road texture. So in this case, if I'm going to click it, it's going to remove the default crosswalks. As you can see, if I click it, unclick it, the crosswalks are just going to appear and disappear. I guess it would also uh, remove the road arrows, but I'm using different kinds of mods to get rid of that. So you can't really see it over here, but most important function in here is the removal of crosswalks, right? Next we have the corner smoothness and this is a slider that I can just use to smooth the corners of the intersection, basically making the intersection wider. So if I put it to zero then this is basically the vanilla configuration of this intersection. As you can see it's rather tiny, it's uh, not exactly all that good for uh, these wide vehicles or sorry long vehicles that are making the right turns in this uh, sharp corner. So I can for example make that nicer by putting the value on the slider to you know some moderately high value. It's kind of going to start uh, actually displaying some changes after you reach a certain value. For these wide roads is the value of 18. I guess it's because uh, the road has some kind of a width and if you reach you know that width then it's going to start actually doing some changes right. So it's going to be smaller for smaller roads, right? This is kind of a wide road. Anyway, I can over exaggerate it with this mod as you can see. I can put it to some really crazy values and uh, the good thing about this is that the intersection marking, uh, intersection markings with the intersection marking tool are still sticking to the surface of the intersections. They are obviously going to be some different kinds of areas where some of these uh, fillers are going to be displayed. That is of course because uh, when I increase the size of the intersection a bit too much compared to what I did before then it's kind of going to you know make the intersection slightly weird. Also I can already see right here that I did not really do the lane connections for one side of the road so some of the vehicles are going over the markings but that's not really important. But as you can see the intersection just looks much better when I smooth the corners a bit more compared to the vanilla value which is this. This is the improved one. It also gives you more space for just some kind of detailing inside the intersection. With this intersection over here I didn't really go overboard with the detailing for the intersection marking tool but I definitely used a lot more features from the node controller. So let's see exactly what I did. Now as you can see this intersection is actually not just one single node where all these roads would connect. I also have these ramps that are connecting to different nodes. Now if we, if we for example take a look at this uh, middle node in here then we can see that the corner smoothness slider is locked and I cannot do anything with it. Now why is that? That is because the smoothness is different for each of these connecting uh, segments. Okay. Now how do I change that? If I'm going to click or sorry hold alt on my keyboard then I'm going to change the mode of selection and instead of selecting nodes I'm now going to be able to select the edges of the segments or basically one halves of the segments that are going towards that node. Okay. As you can see I can I can select all of these different segments. But let's now focus on these three. So if I select this one for example I can see some new functionality. We will talk about that later. But now the corner smoothness is unlocked again and it's some value. Right. I'm not exactly sure what these values mean because if I for example click it then the value is actually going to change. So I don't exactly know what these numbers mean. I suppose they are some sort of radius values for the corners or maybe the widths of the roads. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, anyway, the slider position is the same no matter the number. Okay. 
Now this other segment has it exactly the same, but this smaller road has like a slightly smaller corner smoothness. So it's different from these other two, which means that if I click only on the segment, then the corner smoothness is going to be locked because these segments have it different. I would have to reset it to default in order to move this segment as a whole. If I do it, for example, you can see that it quite changed and it also kind of messed up with the uh, intersection marking too. So I'm not, I don't really want to have that. I'm just going to put that back to some uh, reasonable value. You can, for example, see that uh, this is like a segment between the roads, okay? And uh, I don't have any kind of markings on it, so I'm kind of trying to smooth the, the corners on this segment just so I can get it right to, to match, okay? So if this was like the zero value, then obviously the segment would be larger or longer, but I'm going to make the intersection wider, basically. So I'm going to make that, uh, make that smaller. And I can just fiddle with that to get it almost right. If I go overboard with this, uh, with this detailing, then you can see that the vehicles will slow down quite a lot when they are going into the intersection. And then they are going to go faster again. This is usually a bug when you are using, for example, Move It, and you are creating some very short segments or like different crazy curves with roads, then vehicles will be very cautious going into the intersection. So you kind of need to fiddle with some of these uh, connections, some of these uh, settings and make it so that vehicles will go into the corners as they normally would. So for example, if I go into the 18, uh, you know, value in here, then vehicles will finally start using it normally. And this is something that you can't really, you know, uh, do in advance. Like uh, you can't really say in advance what kind of values will be fine and which not because you kind of need to do trial and error and then it's going to be completely fine with these connections. I did uh, the smoothening for this road, for example, in here, again, uh, it's locked because I did it for different segments differently. For example, this segment I did uh, quite generously. If I put it all the way to zero, you can see that it's going to make this, uh, this ramp entrance much sharper. So I'm just going to go something like this. Uh, you can also see these two different buttons. Now these are basically signalizing the edges of the intersection. So if I, for example, put it to almost zero, then it's right next to the node. But if I'm going to increase it, then it's obviously going to move away from the node because the intersection, the node smoothness is increasing. Now you can also see the mod kind of gives you an outline of a neighboring node, which you can see right here. And obviously you can only increase the size of this intersection all the way to the neighboring node. And if I'm going to move the slider anymore, then it's not creating any more smoothness and it's actually making the cars slow down again because it's just distorting the road way too much. So it's best to just move it so that you're not going to go all the way uh, on top of the neighboring node, right? I'm going to talk more about these, uh, these uh, points later, what they do. Actually, I'm going to talk about them right now. So for example, this ramp, you can see that the lane for this ramp is actually quite wide. Now, why is that? That is because I changed the position of exactly these two markers, but obviously for this segment. So over here, I have these two segments and these uh, windows in here with, uh, with zeros, by default zeros, but I also put this number in here. Now, what is that? This is basically the ability to change the shape of a segment. In this particular case, I wanted to make it wider because this is kind of like a highway road where cars are going faster. So I'm going to allow them to uh, just have a larger lane where they can do the turn, right? So if I put this to zero, and by the way, I have to do it on both of these segments that are you know, connecting. Well, this is one segment, but these are two ends of the segment, right? If I put it to the default zero, then this is what it would look like. You can see that the detailing, the lines do not match. That is because I made them specifically go towards that the wider shape, right? So they do not go uh, perfectly to the lines that are already on the texture. I'm going to move that back uh, to, for example, five, or I can just go, you know, 50 and I can uh, seriously distort the shape of this road. You can see that this is very, very powerful. The vehicles will still use this road and they will go on that middle line, okay? Now I'm going to put it back to the five that I had. And again, I have to do it for both of these, uh, both of these parts of one segment. As you can see, these two align. 
And obviously, if you go for, uh, for the position of the left corner on one side, then you have to go for the right corner on the second side, right? So for this part, I'm changing the right corner. For this part, I was changing the left corner, right? I can obviously just uh, drag the points uh, with the mouse cursor, but that's just going to create some, you know, random numbers in here. And uh, that's not exactly good because I want to have it more precise. All right, so that's one thing that you can do with it. Now, you can also notice that there is a vertical coordinate that you can put in here. And that's what you can do to create, for example, this kind of shape. So with this road, I changed the vertical position. And I also made the, uh, the, the node on the side in here go slightly towards the center, right? So I can immediately see how you could use this, for example, to create some race tracks, you know, for some for some uh, racing circuits, something like that, make the tilted corners, uh, you know, or I could, for example, see this uh, for making roller coasters with like railways or something, monorails. But unfortunately, the mod right now only works for roads. It doesn't work for any other network, right? But you can, you can immediately see the uh, different uses that this uh, functionality could have. In here, I, for example, have a highway, kind of over-exaggerated, of course, but in real life, if you have a highway turns, highway curves, then you would usually have this kind of like a tilting of the corner, you know, inwards into the radius, right? Again, this is over-exaggerated, but only to show you the possibility of, uh, of this mod. Now, another thing, another functionality of this mod is to create flat junctions. Now, I'm going to show you quickly what it would look like in vanilla games. So this is what you would have if you normally created an intersection and you would have the main road sloped like this and you would create, you would want to create an intersection uh, on it like this. And it obviously would create the intersection completely flat and uh, the main road would kind of need to be more sharp, sharper when it goes to the intersections or the incline would have to be a bit, uh, a bit higher. But with this mod, you can actually create, you can get rid of the flat intersections and that's super easy to do as well. All you need to do is uh, go on the main road or all, all of them, doesn't really matter. And on the main road, you can just uncheck the flat junction uh, icon in here and that's it. I'm going to do it on both edges or both ends that are going into the node. And I could easily do it even for this uh, side road, but it doesn't really matter. If I'm going to do it, if I'm going to uncheck the flat junctions, it's just going to make the, uh, the shape just before the intersection slightly more distorted. But again, you could probably just uh, switch the corner smoothness to increase uh, the size of it, which is going to create it more realistic, I should say. Or you can reset it to default, have it default, and just uh, go with uh, the normal functionality of this uh, of this intersection. Obviously, if you reset it to default, it's also going to reset all of these other settings. Now, if I wanted to uh, kind of uh, change the length of this uh, twisting road, then there is nothing easier than to just use move it and move this node, the first node that is right next to the intersection. And obviously, if I move it very, very close, then the twisting twisted part, it's going to be shorter. If I move it further away, it's going to be longer. Seriously, nothing easier than to just control it like this. Another functionality with the node controller is, uh, is this green bar. Now, this is something that uh, if you're going to hover over a straight segment, it's going to create a crosswalk. I think there is a dependency mode for the node controller that you need to download from the workshop that is responsible for this. Uh, yeah, I think there is like a separate mod for that that works together with the node controller. But... Uh, as you can see, it's just creating a crossing. It's going to create the traffic lights, but you can easily just get rid of the traffic lights. You can even put some priority signs in there, which are obviously going to be useless. I guess you could even use the vanilla uh, removal of traffic lights. Anyway, I'm going to show you another thing with uh, this to kind of complete the overall guide of the node controller. So I can create the crosswalk, of course. And if I do that, then I'm going to create a node on the road that is clickable with the node controller because for example there is a node as well but as you can see I cannot click it with uh, the node controller if it's just a normal node on a straight road but if it's a crosswalk created by the node controller then I can click it and if I do then I have this uh, this window in here that allows me to change behaviors of these nodes 
So the crossing is the one with the crosswalk, of course. The middle is just the average default node behavior. So it's just a normal node between straight segments. But I can also create a U-turn segment in here. And that allows me to create an actual U-turn with the traffic manager. So I can go on this node and I can actually do like a U-turn like this. Interesting, isn't it? Now on this road, it obviously kind of would look weird. The vehicles would kind of look weird, but on some wide roads with, uh, you know, longer or sorry, uh, wider medians, it's going to be much more better looking. All right. So that's one thing that you can do. Now you can also switch it into a fully customized uh, node type, which is basically the same as the U-turn, only this time you can actually switch the corner smoothness, but since this is a straight segment, it doesn't really matter. I suppose if there were some junction markings, then you can remove them as well. But the corner smoothness is not really going to do anything. It's just going to make the intersection uh, longer, I guess, on the straight segment, but that's not really useful. It's going to be much more useful on bends. Now, if the road is bended, then I can click it with the node controller because now it's going to be the node type bend. And with the bends, I can increase the corner smoothnesses. I can, for example, create uh, like a very smooth uh, curves without adding any additional nodes to the road. That's exactly what I did over here. This is just a four node, like a box shape. And as you can see, I have different kinds of smoothnesses on these uh, on these curves. So that's very, very useful. Uh, and again, the bended segment, I can just uh, change it for a U-turn if I really wanted to, or a full, fully customized one, which uh, is going to allow me to do the corner smoothness again with the U-turn uh, functionality, as you can see right here. Okay. When it comes to highways, the node controller mod is absolutely amazing and you will immediately see why. So for example, in here, I have uh, these highways, vanilla highways, just absolutely default looking vanilla highways. In here, I have like a highway exit. It's not looking exactly all like great. There's the sharp corner in here, you know, not nothing all that fancy. So nothing easier than to just take the node controller, click on the node where we have the ramp connecting to and just increase the corner smoothness. And that's it. And I can actually go really overboard with the smoothness. I can go all the way to 100. Obviously need to make sure that the nodes uh, closest to it, I kind of, uh, you know, further apart from the one that I'm changing. And that's it. Now I have a very nice looking, very smooth, look at that smoothness, very smooth looking highway exit. I would obviously use the intersection marking tools to, uh, to do some kind of improvements to it. Now that's it. It took me just a couple of minutes to create a very nice looking detailing of this uh, highway exit, even with the even with the filler in here. And it's looking actually very, very good. This might actually make me go back to using vanilla highways because this, this is just good. This is just good looking highway exit, as you can see. Anyway, another thing that you can do uh, with, uh, with the node controller is actually smoothening uh, smoothening straight segments. That's not immediately apparent, but I will show you what it means. So for example, I have this highway that I want to have go from three lanes. So for example, this is like a merging lane or something. And I want to have it go into two lanes, which means that I want to have the two lanes that are, you know, further away. I want to have them aligned with the two lanes on the left side over here. Right now they're not obviously. So how to do it? If, if I didn't have the node controller, then I would do it basically like this. I would pick some kind of a straight shape and I would have it to, I would basically use it as a ruler to align the highways. So I would, for example, go uh, do something like this. Then I would take this, uh, this road in here and I would make it go towards the railing, just like the previous highway. So for example, something like this. Now I made sure now that uh, the left side of the highway is perfectly aligned. But obviously this transition is still not, right? There is this little gap, this teeth in here. So I don't really want to have that. So what I'm going to do with it? Well, obviously I'm going to use the node controller. I'm just going to click on this node and I'm going to smoothen it. And that's it. Uh, I can obviously fiddle with uh, some of these uh, connections that it's actually going to look very nice. I can, for example, make this node go slightly further away so that it's not going to uh, completely break the 
uh, the functionality of the highway as we could have seen before and it's actually going to be much much smoother so i would need to actually have vehicles on this road to uh, figure out uh, the necessary positions but as you can see this is pretty much it look at that Look how that railing is much, much smoother now. I, like I said, I would do some more detailing to it. This just took a couple of seconds, but comparing to the usual usual procedures that I would need to do to create these smooth uh, junctions, this is, uh, this is much better. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. I need to do the segment so that it does this. There we go. And now it's perfectly smooth. Look at that. It's perfectly straight. Well, maybe not super perfectly, but it's hardly noticeable that there is any, any kind of change. So this is just this is just amazing. This is absolutely amazing. This is something that I'm definitely going to be using. Another use of the node controller mod are roundabouts. As you can see, this is just a normal look in roundabouts. In here, I kind of try to do some detailing with a crosswalk and stuff. In here, I kind of wanted to do the similar thing, but I got bored of it. Anyway, uh, as you can see, these corners are very, very smooth with the roundabout. And again, node controller is responsible. If I had it on default, then it would be looking something like this. It actually doesn't even look good with the vanilla roads because, well, this is actually not network extensions, I think, but it doesn't really matter uh, because these are these corners are kind of going into the road slightly. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why that is, but uh, even if they didn't, then the corner would be still quite sharp for a roundabout. So what are we going to do? We are just simply going to increase it with uh, the node controller and it's just going to look something like this. This little example is, for example, my very, very old design for the continuous flow intersection. And in here, I again used the node controller mod together with the intersection markings. In here, for example, on this segment, I used the corner smoothness. If I had it on default, then you can see that these lanes that are coming from the side road are, you know, turning sharply, you know, just before they go and merge into the main road. But uh, if I use the node controller, I can make this intersection much, much wider. It's going to help the overall flow of the intersection, of the shape. And it's even going to allow for more interesting detailing with the intersection marking tool, just like before. The node controller mod does pretty much exactly the same thing that I tried to show you in that tutorial for the tram roads. So if you remember that tutorial, I went into the road editor and I increased the smoothness of the corners uh, by default for some of the custom roads that I made there. Now, unfortunately, well, fortunately, this mod does exactly the same, but unfortunately, uh, it does not remove wires from the tram intersections. Maybe there will be the functionality uh, in the future. It only removes the junction markings right now, but it won't remove the wires. And as you can see, the wires are kind of made for vanilla uh, radii of the connections, right? Well, actually, no, even with the vanilla connections, the wires go off the tracks unrealistically. But obviously, if you increase the smoothness, it's even more noticeable. So with the tram intersections, this mod is only useful if you don't have the wires and you are prepared to detail in your own. Even these kinds of transitions between different kinds of roads might be a good candidate for the node controller mod uh, tweaks. For example, with this one, I can increase the smoothness and I have now a very smooth transition. And again, I can continue this uh, stripe shape with, uh, for example, the intersection marking tool easily. So this was just a compilation of various things that you can do with the node controller mod with a guide on how to use its features. Together with the intersection marking tool and the classic stuff like move it and traffic manager, you can unlock a whole new world of possibilities when it comes to intersection manipulation, detailing and tweaking. This was obviously not everything that you can do with these mods. It's kind of up to you to discover that for yourself. So just go get these mods and start creating. Anyway, that is all for the video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, then you can like the video, share it with others and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. Take care and goodbye.